Questions for Jared? The game seemed like it was maybe supporting two different games from the first half to the second half. From the second period to the third period, for sure. I don't know what the first half. The the. I didn't hate our first period. We got caught spending some extended shifts in the D zone. But at least when I was looking at our coverage, I liked our coverage, you know. They can be hard that way, hanging on to pucks, Walt Lake, say Florida, um, mucking it around the boards, rimming it out both ways to kind of get you to spend some time in there and get tired. And then they throw everything to the cage and try to capitalize, just like they did on their first goal. You know, that's a pretty typical shift that we were trying to prepare our guys for. For them, they they protect it, protect it, throw it to the cage as guys crashing in there, try to get sticks on it, bang it, rebounds. So it's, it's a tough job for sure. Um, but I didn't think the, we all look at it, but I didn't think the first was as bad as what the shots were against, you know. It's just kind of the way they play and the way we play. And But the start of the second period, we not only did we have some of those shifts extended in the zone, we gave up a lot of chances on like poor puck management. I think we had five ozone blue line turnovers in the first five minutes that went back the other way. So that's more time. Guys can't get off the ice for their changes. Um, and then we had a couple plays like um, Gerard walking into the slot all alone. We pass it, break away against. Like we, some of that self-induced, like just. Um, but we, I thought we corrected that late in the second and into the third period and played really well. Um, just spot them too many goals, you can't come back on it. Five shots in each of the first two periods, is that yeah. you know, trying to be too pretty, not simplifying? Well, I just, I just went over it. Yeah, part of it is, I mean, we had a lot of shots we passed up, you know, in the slot. I can think of at least four right away, and most and lots of them are from our D trying to make another pass, which then you're up and involved, and you're making another pass gets broke out. Not only does it hurt you on the offensive side of it, but then it's going the other way, and you're chasing it, right? So, um, but this was, it was kind of like they had a good checking period in the first. I like some of the things we did. The, the, the shots we did have were like some good chances. Um, and then, I did, like I said, I didn't really like the start of the second, more than just the start. We haven't really asked you about the penalty kill yet, but it seems like that is another area of concern. Didn't like it tonight, yeah. yeah. First one we, first one was really good, right? Like, I think, um, but, yeah, we got beat a couple times on some plays where I felt like we could have been better with our sticks, better awareness coming to the, like, they go with cross crease twice, right? So... That's it was a problem tonight, but our power play matched that. They did a nice job. I think some of that's personnel and they, you know, guys just figuring it out, and um, so it, we got to keep working at it. Coach Miles Wood, any word? No word yet. Yeah, he's gone, getting evaluated. Um, well, we'll hear later tonight at some point what's going on. Seemed like there's some uh, positive traction there from uh, Georgia. Yep, better for sure, right? Made a bunch of big saves. Um, yeah, better for sure. Moving in the right direction. Last game, I think, then this game. Just keep going. There's a loss, but I mean, for me, the positivity was a real solid third period. Best third period you got. Probably best period you probably played all all season so far. It was uh, yeah. I mean, I'm encouraged by. You know, our big guys, I, I thought, I said it the other night, I don't think they were very good. They weren't happy with their games. We had our talk and our meeting. They led the way tonight. They were really good. I thought Kale McCarr was really critical of his own game the other night. He was outstanding tonight. Involved, assertive, physical, both sides, like, defended extremely hard, which is good to see. Miko, Mack, same thing. You know, like... And that's what we need, right? Like, we need them to try and go above and beyond, but not just trying to get points, but, like, get like to produce offense to win. Like, they got to be really good on both sides of the puck, and, and we're asking them to play a lot right now. Um, but if they keep playing like that, then I like where we're headed. How do you evaluate, you mentioned Miko Rain, and to have a game like that where there was a lot of fire and a lot of, 
productivity on, on the power play, but at even strength, a couple of penalties, one of them leads to Yeah, the well, physical too. Like, he played hard 5-on-5 five five too. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the penalties. Like, I get, first one's a penalty. I think it's a penalty. I don't know about the second one. Like, he gets a stick in there, he lets it go. I think there's there's more egregious stuff going on in scoring areas than that. Uh, nothing playing the neutral zone, so give him a break on that one. He drew a penalty playing hard in the D zone after that. So, like, I'm pretty happy with the way he competed and the way he played. It's not always going to come 5-on-5, five five, but part of his job is to produce 5-on-5 five and five on the power play. He did that tonight. Given the, the margin of error is obviously slimmer because of all the errors are missing, just like not getting the Columbus game when you could have, and like maybe we can't the, look back on then, that. And then the, like you know, like the ten minute stretch of the second period tonight, or even really just the thirteen second stretch of the second period, just a little, yeah, just this much. Well, yeah, it's it's sometimes that happens. You make mistakes. When you're playing well, you're still making lots of mistakes, and they're not going in, and you're, you're getting a save or. Guys coming up with a block, the efforts there, um, it, you know, hey, like the Columbus game, like I felt like we deserved a better fate the way we played, right? And we didn't get it, so I mean, you got to move on. You know, we're not going to try. We're trying always, no matter how good or bad it's going, we're not going to dwell on the previous game, whether we were really good or whether we were really bad. You have to correct it and move on, build on it and move on. And it's the same thing now. It doesn't, um, the loss things, it doesn't feel any better or worse than it did after the last game. You know, we got to find a way to get to get a win and, and try to build it from there. Matt Steinberg drops the gloves with a much bigger guy. Yep. Was, was that something that helped ignite the bench in your eyes? Well, it didn't, it didn't hurt. I'll tell you why. Because he goes out, he gets a big hit, he's physical. Um, you know, Z goes after him, they, they have a fight, we get a power play, and we scored. So, I mean, it gave our bench energy, and then it get, was allowed, allowed us to put our best players on the ice with a man advantage, and we capitalized on it. So, I mean, he made an impact. It was, we shortened the bench a little bit, he didn't play a lot, but he made an impact in the game right then and there, and, and um, that's what he had, needs to continue to do. He's, he, he has a simple game plan, he's got a great identity, and he played to it tonight, and that's all you can ask. Any last questions? Your starting lines were obviously very shifted tonight. Yeah. Um, but you uh, came back to McKinnon, Ryan, and Colton. And Colton scored that first goal. What do you, you're still seeing him, you know, just playing well on that wing and like that combination? Yeah, I mean, he was everywhere tonight. He played some center, he played some wing, he played with the big guys, he played with um, Wood and OC. We juggled it around a little bit. I started those lines that way because I wanted to be balanced. I wanted to have some really good four checkers and some guys that have been really good in their checking game with some of our skill and. You know, I wanted to see our guys play the right way, regardless of who they were paired with. As the game went on, we started to move it around a little bit to get some skill back together because they were all playing hard. So, um, yeah, and then we, we you know, lost some guys in the penalty box a little bit and Wood ended up leaving. So there was lots of mixed and match lines tonight. But um, I like some of the things I saw out of all of them. Yeah, thank you. Yep, thanks. One of your stronger games tonight. Just how did you see this one uh, play out for you? Um, yeah, it's it's tough to say you play good when you give up four. Obviously, um, I could have I could have done better, and um, probably the fourth the fourth I could have uh, played better for sure. But just try to play play in the moment. Uh, try not to bring all that baggage with you. It's uh, it's a really tough situation, right? But um, just giving, giving the best we can every day, and uh, I feel if everybody does that, we've got we've got a good chance every night. Uh, I, I believe in the team. We're we're su such a good team. Uh, we can score a lot. Um, we can play great defense. So just have to kind of learn from it, but not not get discouraged and uh, get to the next one with sharp sharp brains. How are you uh, working on building your game up here through these games, or just trying to get steadily better? Um, just trying to find positives. Um, Trying, yeah, trying to get, feel more comfortable every every game, and uh, 
hopefully it will turn around soon. What does it mean to you to continue getting these starts after some difficult games in the beginning? Uh, it, yeah, I, I appreciate it a lot. It's, uh, it's a lot of trust and I, I try, to, try to bring my best every night. Um, you know, try, like I said, try not to think too much about the past and uh, good things will happen. I believe in that. How much did the, the first half of the second period was pretty much all on your end? A couple of breakaways, just a lot of action. How much was that like a good stretch of play for you? Um, yeah, just trying, trying to survive that, that rush. Um, I feel there was a lot of good there. Um, obviously, wish, wish it would have continued, but uh, a lot of good there. Like the second half of the game was all avalanche. Like, what are you seeing? What's the turning point in that game for you? What do you see? Um, tough to say. When I mean Boston, when when they started the big lead, they kind of uh, tried to stay back, and we um, we had not, nothing to lose, pretty much. So started playing well and got the second one. Um, I feel um, yeah, I feel just a mix of factors. Thanks so much. Struggled to get things going just from your perspective. Uh, how did that one kind of unfold for you? I think that we were managing the puck well enough early on. They're a team that turns pucks over at the blue line. Um, we need to get, kind of give them that chip game, chip and, chip and chase game, and I felt like they were turning it over, keeping it in our zone, pinning us a little bit. And then obviously once they get the puck in the O zone, they're, they're a good team. They, they know how to hold on to it. Then you end up chasing the game a little bit, right, losing that flow. And then you look at the end of the second period, and, and we start turning it on, and we get that three-quarter ice game going where we have the pressure on them. And it's the same thing. So uh, I think that's all kind of the first period was down to. That's in the third period, your best period probably so far collectively as a team this year. Do, you, do I think it was? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think we did We did a lot of good things. I think there was desperation there, which is good. I wanted to see, I think we all wanted to see some desperation out of the team. Um, you know, obviously unlucky on the fifth goal of pucks, bad, bad ice just bounces. Um, otherwise, I think we were, we were pouring it on there for a good a good chunk. Power play did us a good job tonight. I think PK, obviously, two back doors, not, it's not good enough by, by the PK. I think it's a different game if we can hold them in there. Injuries keep to you know, keep piling up. How frustrating is that on the bench? Yeah, it's frustrating. I mean, it's part of hockey, though, right? Obviously, we're depleted. There's no no doubt about it. We're, we're a depleted lineup right now. You look at the guys who are out. A lot of salary cap, a lot of, a lot of extremely, extremely talented players. So um, it makes it tougher. Doesn't mean we can't win games, though, right? Doesn't mean we can't compete in games and, and be strong in front of our net. Um, you know, defend hard. Like I don't. There's no reason we can't do that. Can you guys take anything to build from that second half of the game? Well, that we have the game and we can get the flow going and we can we manage pucks and get on four checks and turn pucks over even against you know a team like boston i mean big d big team and, and we're turning pucks over creating offense in the ozone didn't didn't show up and we had a lot of shots there through the through two periods i think we started getting that shot mentality in the third and you know we were a little more dangerous that second period i thought we had a couple laying on the goal line you know um pucks that were there for us so i mean we did, we did a lot of good things can't look at it and go no it's it sucks throw it away, but at the end of the day, it's still not good enough. You want to win this league, you got to be, you got to be perfect. You can't give, can't give front of the net goals, backdoor goals. Like you got to be, you got to be on. That's the difference. Thanks so much.